Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to day 432 of Godcraft, and this episode is going to be about wiring. A lot of people seem to have problems with wiring, so what I'm going to do is the default client that I give players uh, that who are whitelisted on Godcraft, um, which is the Spax one with the IC modified Spax. Basically, if your solar panels kind of look like this, and your icons kind of look like this, and you're using the Spax. Um, it's pretty much the same for all of them anyways because of, you know, all the items have like a unique, uh, a unique side to them basically, so it's really easy. So we're going to start with a bat box. Now, if you got the latest client, which is version 8, we call it on Godcraft, it has uh, a brown box now, and the MFE is a, like a, a, like a shade of brown, and then the MFSU is kind of a, a, a silvery, like a, a metal kind of look to it. So does the MFE, but uh, I guess it's more a polished metal or whatever. Um, this is sort of like a request by me to kind of make it easier for players to, you know, distinguish the difference because before they all look like three MFSUs, except it was all different ones. So let me throw that on the bat box and we'll start there. So we have a solar array. This is how you make a solar panel. Basically, all this is is tin wire, and please use tin wire. It's a must. Uh, with uh, you know, surrounded by solar panels like this. And that's as simple as that. So three solar panels get uh, one piece of tin. That's pretty good uh, for cheapness. Um, if you see on the solar panel, there's the one top there, and then all five sides uh, give out power. Now, of course, they give out only one EU in total, so you couldn't just like siphon the energy from all five and expect five EUs. Um, but let's just make this simple. So we're going to pop down a battery box. It doesn't matter where. And boom, boom, and that like this. We'll be getting energy. Oh, I think my time's frozen. Let's see. Nope, we won't be getting energy right now. <laughs> oh, this was a bad time to do a video. Um, anyways, this is the correct way. So let's just go through that. Um, the the bat boxes, the MFE, the MFSU takes input by five sides always. So uh, all these are basically plug in kind of like plug it in and these ones are all like kind of like plug it out the power coming out um so bat boxes it's the unique side that gives the power to your devices and uh yeah basically that's simple so it has five incoming and one outgoing so from there we can't use 10 because this is what, what well we don't have any power on this so it's a little hard to show what would happen but if we use 10 and then something it would blow up because the bat box outputs 32 which is fine so we use copper and then basically copper goes to our machine we'll use real we'll pretend you know bat box is the machine and boom that's a perfect chain there um, and then basically from there, you just, you, you, all your machines work fine on it. You can even use your, uh, uh, your, your, uh, like advanced machines on this system just fine. It works perfectly. You don't have to put 128 into them. Um, so for the MFFs, MFF, MFE, it's the same basically. So you make sure that the incoming is going to the one unique si the, the one of the five non-unique sides, and your output is the one unique side. Uh, here, if you use copper coming out of this, it would blow up again um, because this is now 128 uh, current output. So basically, I think you need to use gold. I don't use gold. I'm a, a big hater of gold. So what I use is I use fiber from here on end. Uh, fiber goes 120. One, or no, 20 uh, blocks without losing any power. So basically you would have to, you can go do this, oh that's 10, that would be bad. Uh, here's diamond and then you would go into uh, uh, a converter here. So what you do is an LV. An LV is uh, 128 to 32 power. And what you do is you face this way when you're placing it and yeah, that's how it works. So with the converters, this is where people get messed up, but it's really simple thinking is a bat box, you don't need more than one output. You need more than one input kind of thing, multiple sources of energy, and you just need your single output. Now with this, 
all you do is you only need to convert the power once. You don't need to convert it several times. You can now spread it out to several devices. That's why the power goes into only the one slot. And he's made it really simple now because he shows an energy symbol, basically. And then these are all your, you know, going out. So basically, this converts it to 32, so you can use copper again. And you can go out to all your devices, like this kind of. It's pretty simple as that, guys. Um, it's, it's, it's simple. <laughs> um, let me get my uh, chainsaw. Chainsaw is chopped wire really well, by the way. Um, make sure you always torque your items, and there is a slow, a small chance that uh, you can lose an item when you torque it off. Um, this is a new update that was added a while ago. It's part of a mechanic. Um, by the way, you can flip things around, like this for example. So you can change the orientation of where you want it. It's just simple as that. Uh, so, of course, like I said, the bat boxes, or the, not the bat box, the converters are backwards. They're not backwards, but just remember, they're, they're facing towards the power unit. And as simple as that, again, it's, it's not really a hard concept. It's really easy. Hopefully that, that makes some sense to you guys. Uh, let me show you now an MFSU, which is everyone's little pride and joy. So here's an MFSU. Again, you just, you know, the output's going the right way. No big deal there. Um, and it's working perfectly. And then uh, from here, you can actually put this. Uh, you don't want to use the LV. Now you have to have an MV, uh, medium voltage or whatever. So uh, which one's MV? Okay, so you can do MV and then LV. And then you can actually go out from like this. Or if you have space, and I, I prefer doing this anyways. It looks cleaner. You can go, you know, like this. Then like this. You know. A lot of people probably do it that way. And at least you can see where it's coming from and it's organized. But you can do it compact. Like I showed you, you can put all three together. And then you can go out. So you can use this in two different ways now that we're using the uh, the you know the medium voltage here. Um, so this is 128. So I would put fiber out here. And I would put these to my advanced machines. Uh, just to give you an idea what the advanced machines are, we'll just run quickly into my uh, shop here. And these are the advanced ones. So the rotary macerator, the induction furnace, um, the centrifuge extractor, and the singularity compressor is an advanced machine. And here, I'll show you the wiring, what it looks like in my place. Mine's a little messy. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Did I cut some of my wiring accidentally? No, I don't think so. All I can tell you is it's just messy as heck. Um, so... <laughs> Oh, I don't even know how to show you this now. It's so messy. Let's see if we can get up here. Okay. Go, go, go. Ah. Okay, here we go. Oh, did it just blink? Oh, this is cool. Oh, did it? Oh, maybe it didn't. Oh, yeah, there you go. So every 30 minutes, my timer goes off, and my UU matter gets extracted, and it goes and follows the pipe. It goes all the way down. <laughs> and it does this automatically. So now, I don't even have to take out my UU matter. I get in the masses. Boom, and it goes into this. And this is one of the filters. And then it sucks it into a chest, which is... Right there. And you can see it going in. And that's my UU matter. It does that every 30 minutes. So a 30-minute timer is fine if you were to keep it 24-7. But uh, any lower than that, it kind of is not good for a server. So remember that. Respect their server, please. Um, so let's get back up here. And we'll go to the top here. Ugh, since it's so messy. So I got all my lines incoming. This is coming from that side solar array. This is coming from that solar array. And then down here is coming from the solar array at the back of my lot that you can see on the mini map there where you see the white strips. That one's not finished yet. So all this power comes into this and then it goes into a series of 10 parallel uh, bat boxes which are insane. And then they power these six uh, mass fabricators 24-7 as you can see it went up how fast the percentages go and all six of them run lap fast and then it goes all the way down here so we go we and then we put a hole through the wall yeah we'll do it that way so we're not confusing here and then boom it goes down here and then here we go it goes to I have a really crazy it gets split off to all these which are MFSUs 
So that's an MFSU, that's an MFSU, there's two more MFSUs, there's another MFSU, and there's another MFSU. Then they get converted to M voltage, medium voltage, all of them. So medium voltage, medium voltage, medium voltage. Then they get connected all down here to my uh, advanced machines. Now as you notice, I don't even have any low voltage. Well that's because, honestly, once you get into advanced machines, there is nothing that you need to convert down to low voltage. Uh, and then if you hook up your charging bench directly uh, under an MFSU, uh, I think you have to have the MFSU torque to actually go right to it. Um, let's see here. Like underneath like that. Um, it will actually power. Some people didn't know this. I didn't know it for longest time. Uh, that you can power your charging bench directly from an MFSU. So you can fill up all your items for charging just like this. How cool is that for charging bench for you know <laughs> um so yeah that's how my setup works it's simple and uh that's how it kind of works so now we're over here uh let's go to our setup here and uh let's get some power flowing here so we got the the medium voltage so we can for fun uh you know show you how this works so we'll throw in the mfe and we'll throw in the bat box showing you the different conversions here so here is the mfe Boom, and as you can see, it's charging up. And here's the lower voltage. So let's throw the bat box on this one. And boom. So as long as it's pointing into one of these sides, it works fine. Now this is what happens to a lot of people where they're like, what the hell's happening? Nothing's going. Because you're torquing it into, like, you know, that's the output, but you're putting it into the input, and that's when things go to hell. So, you know, clearly that's working great. Look at all the power coming in here. And you can now make an item called the EU reader. And you can actually right click and get your measurement. So some people do this and they're like, oh, look at I have 512 EUs coming in. No, no, no. Please check over here. Like your incoming power source is where you want to check. So you just right there and then you click again. So basically 93 uh, solar panels are in this array here. And they go and power up here. Actually, it could be a little less because there's power withdrawing from over there. So it could be smaller. It may be fighting for it. I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, that's simple as that. So let, let's make a stupid mistake here, right? And put, uh, that's a medium voltage. Yeah, so see if that works. Wait. Ah. Oh, it's... Uh, it won't happen until it's actually withdrawing power. So watch this. The second we place this down, here we go. And it burns up. That's just simple as that. You can do it again. It hurts you if you're close. Oh, I was hoping I can fry the chicken there. So that's when you know you're doing something wrong. <laughs> and then you should be probably putting your, uh, your glass down. Same with this. I mean... Uh, you don't want to get too careless because it'll get costly on you, but uh, if you put, you know... <laughs> it all does that. But, uh, yeah, that's simple. So don't ever use anything on your solar panel besides tin. Tin goes 40. If you go, if your solar array is more than, well, not the array, but your solar panel, say this is like 50 blocks from here to there. It's like 30. But let's just say this is 50 blocks to that. All these by 10 blocks will not give you power because it's per tick one EU that gets removed. Since each solar panel uh, creates its own tick, you're basically losing all the back end uh, solar panels if you wire it wrong and that's pretty bad. You wouldn't want that. So anyways, hopefully I taught you the directions so you guys that are newer and having problems with wiring now understand that Battery type boxes have five inputs from your energy sources. Um, all your transformers, uh, or is that what they call them? I call it, yeah, they're transformers. Actually, the unique side gets pointed towards the battery. And uh, yeah, and then basically, that's pretty simple as that. I mean, uh, from there, you're rocking, really. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I think you guys hopefully get that, and uh, hopefully that will help a few people out there who are having troubles. And thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.